Hey friends, we are out here today on the island of Boracay in the Philippines. Uh, we come out because we're going to give you an overview of some of the activities that are available to you here on the island. Now we've got a number of activities planned that are all going to be part of this one video. Just It makes for a better video to give you all of the activities as opposed to just breaking it up individually because each video then just be like five minutes long. Um, but as I said, we've got a few activities. So the first activity that we're going to do, which actually today is the ATV tour. And I think we've got some hot baths up there as well. Uh, we're also going to go to Station X, which is like an activity center pool bar area. Uh, we are going to take you up to City Mall and just give you a very brief overview of the area there. We're going to go parasailing and helmet diving. So we've got a few cool experiences planned and hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing what we have on offer and what can be done here on the island of Boracay. If you do enjoy the video throughout, give us a thumbs up, do appreciate it, it really does help us out a lot. It'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. Let's go to the beach. So we made it to the dock, so for the first thing with the ATV tour we have to get a boat to a different island, it shouldn't take too long. We're walking on the dock and it's a floating. Right on the beach, a little pooch there. And uh, we've got a short walk to get to our next spot, which is the waiting area, the welcome centre. And then they'll take us to the ATV. That's our first activity today. Look at this bridge. This is interesting, isn't it? Just made out of bamboo. You can feel it moving under our feet as well. It does not seem stable at all. So we're on our next transportation. We've got this little uh, truck here. Not sure how safe I feel putting my arm out the window. Well, yeah, there isn't a window really. It's just so we've made it to the ATV tour area. Got ourselves all geared up. Ready to go.
chicken. So it is at the Shingle Resort here. So we've done our ATVs. Now we're gonna go, we've got like a, a bath type thing, which we're gonna kinda need because if you can see that, look how muddy we got. That was a lot of fun though. Uh, the steering was so difficult. Um, just really, when, I'm, when my wheels are straight, the handlebars were like slightly as if I was steering right and yeah, that wasn't easy, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We got messy, we got mucky, and um, yeah, we just really enjoyed ourselves. Great, pro not procedures, great systems, uh, operations around here because they had like four or five photographers on the route as well. So they're snapping pictures of you all the time. Obviously they want you to buy the pictures. They were 250 uh, Philippine pesos per picture, which isn't too bad really, um, just a few quid. Uh, but that was that was good. That was good. I really enjoyed that. So I recommend doing that if you can. Um, but we're now in the Shringle Resort, and we'll see what's down here. So we've got a little coffee cafe here. We've got a bar. We got some cute little photo spots. So you got the like oh, heart. You got the circle. A little bridge there as well, and you can do. Uh, cliff jumping they're calling it but uh, you're already off the cliff just into the little uh, river that they've made up here so you've got the little cliff diving thing uh, you can swim in this as well you've got little hot baths down the end there I think we're in a separate area but you've got like tree houses and whatnot which is quite cool you've got a uh, little kitchen there as well cool looking areas here so as i said you've got the bar down there you've got a little food area and just here these are the hot baths so there's eight of these here and they're essentially little well like fire pits barbecue areas and then you just get in they got flowers in as we got in she put a little bit more fuel on the fire to get it going up to temperature a little bit and now we just relax here for a while. You got a whole bunch of cakes. They do have a proper food menu and you can have coffee and fruit. It's quite a cute little setup here actually. It looks quite posh for where we are. So here's one of the food options at least and we got a frappuccino as well. So the next activity that we're going to check out here in Boracay is Station X. This is part of the Hugh Hotel. Um, we've probably walked about 15 minutes from our hotel uh, and it's kind of a, like a leisure area with a pool, swim up bar and things like that. So we'll go inside and show you what the facilities look like and uh, then let you know what our thoughts are briefly on it at the end and whether you should come here or not. So this is Station X. Now this is kind of a activities resort area it is a hotel as well so you can stay here for the night a few nights whatever uh, you've got access to this pool it's just cost us 1600 philippine pesos for the two of us which includes up to 1400 
pesos of food and drink. So actually, entrance to it, in theory, was only 200 pesos. You've got a swim-up bar, you've got this beautiful looking pool here, jacuzzi kind of thing in front of the bar, and then these beds. Um, and also we get access to one of these little day beds as well, which is cute. So included as part of your admission, as I said, you get up to 1,400 Philippine pesos of food and drink. So we've gone for these tacos. We actually had two portions, but I forgot to start the vlog off on the first one. So I do apologize for that. But essentially we've got six tacos. We've ordered a Royale, which is a Fanta orange, a Coke, and then we've also got these sliders as well. So we've got two of each slider to share. So here you've got a full kind of sit down service restaurant buffet. Nicely decorated as well, actually. Uh, and you're kind of overlooking the pool area, which is quite cool. We've also got more food offerings. So you've got this uh, crazy Tory, you've got like a boba place, you've got some bowls down there, you've got game offerings as well. Cool photo spot. It's just a really kind of chill vibe in here, actually. Um, so you've got a foosball, you've got a giant chess set, cool hanging uh, chair over there. It's really nice in here, actually. So that's us finished at Station X, and actually, we had a fairly good time. Pretty good value for money in terms of access to the area and food that's included up to that 1400 pesos um, which actually gets you quite a bit so we had the tacos we had the sliders we we're supposed to get chips but uh, or french fries even um, they didn't have them available and then completely forgot so the service wasn't great um, it can be a bit confusing knowing who works for who because you've got the swim up pool bar which is separate to the restaurant and the pool area and the hotel so it's really kind of weird we went to play a couple of the games and we were told that we need to pay a deposit to play um, pool, billiards, whatever you want to call it, um, and put our ID behind the reception desk. But there's no signs anywhere to say that. Um, the same with uh, the foosball table, so it's a little bit confusing. But I think this is great if you're at a hotel that doesn't have a great pool or doesn't have really good facilities. This is somewhere that you can come and spend the day as a group and just enjoy yourself, especially with these lounge chairs, get a couple together as a group of three or four, you're laughing, it's a good it's a good day out. So hopefully this has given you a good idea as to whether you should come here and you've seen kind of the facilities that are on offer. They do have a full sit down restaurant as well. So if you don't wanna have the food at your bed or a little table or whatever, then you know by all means go and eat actually in the restaurant. Um, it's not bad, we did enjoy our time here for sure. So another one of the places to be in Boracay is the City Mall Boracay. Now this is located sort of halfway up the main strip after stations one and three. So in here you've got a small food court, a number of shops, a little pharmacy, things like that. It's not the massive shopping mall that you would come to expect in a big city, but then again, we're not in a big city, so some little uh, stands just dotted around which is quite cute there is also a cinema here as well so for our next activity we are back at the dock here we've got two activities here this morning we've got helmet diving and we've got parasailing so we're back at the exact same dock that we were at uh, for the last one the ATV tour uh, so we'll let you guys know what our thoughts are after the fact later on Just arriving at the platform, probably about five minutes on the speedboat. Backing in, masterfully done. There's all the oxygen tanks we're going to need. Here we are on the pontoon boat thing. We've got all the oxygen tanks, so we've got some seats. Here, so we're just sat in seats. Thank you. 
more down to it. Should I move these cables? More? Okay. Yep. Still in the same area, um, but we are now going to do parasailing. I'll give you a roundup of all three of the activities uh, once we finish everything. Let you guys know what our thoughts are uh, and whether it's worth it as well. Uh, but everything is really from this dock here. We were being told that uh, this dock can get moved, and they do put it around the other side of the island if the weather is a little bit naff. So we checked in, and we were told to look for somebody 
uh, with diamond on their t-shirt. It's the yellow t-shirts with diamond on. And that's where we're gonna go. The boat is just pulling in now. It's this red boat with the Superman sigil on the side of it, interestingly. So here we are on the boat again. We're going further out. You can see a couple of the parasailers out there in the water. We're all geared up, we've got a life vest on and we've got a harness around our uh, waist and whatnot as well. Very fancy pants looking boat this is. Superman sigil and the diamonds. parachute thing that we're using at the moment we've got a superman sigil on that as well i don't know if i'm at the right angle for it or not but if you can see we're slowly slowly going up uh we're now probably i'd say about 50 feet actually now we've got somebody else over there as well this is really cool it's a lot uh it's, it's significantly more peaceful than I anticipated. I really thought this was going to be like super windy up here. <laughs> he says as the wind comes. No, but you know what I mean? Like I was expecting like... And yeah. it's just like... Calm. Calm with them doing the helmet dive. That was noisy. Yeah. So over there, there's some guys that are lower down, obviously. Uh, and they are also doing it with diamond, I think, because they've got the diamond, they got the Superman thing on there. So I'm wondering if that's like how they know between them. There it is, the island of Boracay. That's where Shangri-La is up there, look at that. Yeah. So it's actually a very small island, as you can see, because we've got it basically from there all the way to there. It feels longer when you walk it, obviously. So that is the end of our activities here on the island of Boracay in the Philippines. Uh, we've done three activities, all slightly different there with the ATV tour, the helmet diving and the parasailing. Um, what I'll do, I'll put down in the description, hopefully how much these were so you guys can see. But what I'd imagine is the price will vary depending on where you book it, what time of year you book it, uh, whether you book it with your hotel, whether you book it with one of the random people on the beach that just come up to you and ask you if you want parasailing or a massage or something like that. They've got everything. They really do have everything. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure one of them over here just asked if I wanted to rent a helicopter, which is pretty cool. If I can do that, then, you know, amazing. Um, but those activities were fantastic. I was a little bit disappointed in the ATV tour, tour part of the ATV tour, because there wasn't a tour. It was just riding the ATVs around. But actually riding the ATVs around was really freaking cool. Um, and Becky was in front the entire time round uh, and she crashed less than I did. I crashed three times on the way around and she did significantly better, even though I always say her driving's worse than mine. So maybe she's got one up on me now, I don't know. Um, the helmet diving was absolutely fantastic. Now we've done something like snorkeling before um, in Mexico. And that was pretty cool, but I think the helmet diving was even better than the snorkeling because it was perfectly clear. We could see absolutely everything. 
Uh, and we got to feed the fishes as well. They gave us like a little bit of bread and they like nibbled the bread. It was amazing. Um, so that was awesome. And then the parasail in there at the end was pretty cool. I think 10, 15 minutes up there is more than enough because once you get up there and you've seen, you know, you're just going around the same area for that entire time. You kind of seen it all after a couple of minutes anyway. Uh, but it's cool going up, going down, you know, seeing the scenery uh, and just enjoying the experience. The guys on the boats were absolutely fantastic, so accommodating and really helpful. You know, you have nothing to fear by doing these kinds of activities here in Boracay. Um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video throughout and it's given you an idea as to whether you do want to do any of these activities. Just a little uh, snippet of some of those things that you can do. There are far more activities out here. If you did enjoy the video throughout, give us a thumbs up. Do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. It'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks.